Simukane Makari wona mukati shakanaka. Jehova mukawona mumwe ne mumwe wedu ari panzvimbo yake. Ishe muri mutsene mukaziva mumwe ne mumwe achange ari mukati meimba ino. Tenzi makatendeka haisi mosho kuva pano. Avose uchengera asi ndi makagara makazvironga. Zvino mwari tinokumbira Jehova makatendeka. Zvamadai kuti tendera kuya mukati meimba yenyu. Jehova wa masimba ese tinokumbira maro pafadzo edenga. Kuti mwadurure mzwara nasi mwari. Nishe makatendeka ave pamsoro pia wanakoma na nevana sikana venyu. Mwari tinorangara na ingwe nguwa jehova. Wanakoma na nevana sikana venyu waka iunga na mimba ya mwe pamsoro. Waka nga wari mwungwe chete. Wari mkunye ngetera waka mirira. Imi muka buruka jehova makatendeka. Muka zaza mungwe ne mungwe wavu. Tenzi makatendeka muka wapa e potion. Sejwa maka wana shaka fanira. Kushikira makariwe guta mwari makatendeka. Waka pupura kutivano awa. Awa ana wuchenjere, awa ana kuziza, asi wakangawa ina kristu. Tinoshua jume chetezo Jehova mwarima kanaka, kutikuone kwema atributi enyu pakati pedu. Tikanganure kudareka kwedu kwese kwa takaita, tikanganure pana jizu ataka bata mwarima karuma zina kuza zita renyu. Tikanganure pataka chikora mwarima karuma mirairo enyu, burukai mwarima katende kamoti zazi. Tinoshua sei mwarima kanaka kutikunyangwe pakutangwa kukuimbwa kwenziyo. Jehova mwuru mchene musimu zile mwoyo yedu. Tenzi makatende ka nzese tisimboza sana ngurane muimbisi. Ziti simu zile mwoyo yedu mwarima karura ama nekutenda. Tipi simu kegu indapachina ano chiri nani. Kutapo buru shukore nyuri chaburu ka mwarima katende ka. Riwane ana zedu za undu kuru waza gaziriru wa. Zave yifura kanaka mwarima kama tutika mchire shukore nyu. Tinokumbira sei jehova mwarima katende ka. Kune imi mwari watino ziziwa kuti matuwe pano ninyu cheneche kari. Jehova makatende kadai mwe ya wenyu. Wai tendere ya kufapa ingu ni imwe chia kuenda pane imwe. From one row to another mwari. Ni ujuburu tsa makombo rero edenga. Jehova mwari mchene tinokumi kiza shumiro yesu waranasi. Tenzi mwari makatende ka. Iwe chikombo rero kune mungwe ni mungwe wedu. Mwari makanaka tuwane jehova makatende ka patichazo kama katime zimbaza tinokara. Jehova shewa masimba ya seche kupupura wukuru wenyu pakati pedu. Tinona maata mwari makatukumi za shumiro yesezu waranasi kwa mwemade kumande kwa neanu. Mwakatime mawo kenyu matrene. Tichitenda jehova kutimuripano uye mcharamba mwinesu. Tana maata mstero kwa sharitenzi su kristu. Amen. Famba munzira ya kaoma hiyo ine musha wekude ngando Famba munzira ya kaoma ine musha wekude zoti aleluya Oh God, I hope 
Jimbo ya Kanaka. Jimbo ya Kanaka, Musha Musha Wajio, Denga Denga Ramate, Hiro Denga.
tunakuwa sana mstari tenzo wa Yesu Kristu. Amen. Eh. Tunao tenda mwari, tutaoya kutiti sona mata pamwe chete. Sasa tunataura shoko kuti tisafu za kuungana sasa tunaita vana. Tunao tenda mwari. Eh. Ante nonya tunzi kisi sasa nga zvitaura na mfundisi kuti ndazungonzwa pekuti chitongo paridzai eh vati delay saka tongo vana mate kuti ndofunga zvino kana vachifika vanosvika zvakanaka tudoti ti vure ma bible yedu first corinthians chapter 14 vakuri ndiyo kutanga chitsako 14 kuva pavesi ya 6 Corinthians chapter 14 verse 6 Wakorindyo kutanga 14 pandigima ya 6 Now brethren Zinoama if I come unto you speaking with tongues What shall I profit you except I shall speak to you either by revelation or by knowledge or by prophesying or by doctrine and even things without life giving sound with a pipe or a harp except they give a distinction in the sounds how shall it be known what is a pipe to or a harp for if the trumpet give in a certain sound who shall prepare himself to the battle so likewise you except you utter by the tongue words easy to be understood how shall it be known what is spoken for you shall speak into the air they are it may be so many kinds of voices in the world and none of them is without security signification tinamatei baba wedu tinouya pambere pe uso wenyu tichikutendai pangwa dzimade kwanano tinoisa moyedu jehova ishe mukati meruo kuru wenyu tinoisa pfungwa dzedu kwa mori tenzi tibatsirei titunga mirirei wo ishe jesu kristo zvikuru sei mongwa ena tiri kurarama she wangu dai nyasha dzenyu dzawana kwa mukati mo opinion wedu we muti vumba mire nero parenyu rakadeuka pa kaovare Tenzi tunotsvaga ine mwari muve mubatsiri we upenyu wedu tutunga mirirei panguwa ino tunoisa zvose kuparedzwa kwe shoko mukati meruo ko rwenyu nekunzikwika kwaro Jehova tinokuisa mwakwenyu tibatsirei shemtsvene tichiti mwari chivai nesu baba mukotanga nesu muchipedza onesu muzita nemuro para tenzi wedu Jesu Kristu amen ti garedu pasi Uh, the uncertain sound kurira usinganzwisike eh zviri kutaurwa na na paulo he saying for if the trumpet give an uncertain sound who shall prepare himself to the battle ndiana chagadzirira kundorwa and verse 11 therefore if i know okay Uh, verse 10 there are it may be so many kinds of voices in the world and none of them is without signification uh, brother branham in one of the messages he him he says there are many voices in the world right now which are coming to deaden the voice of God Amen. Amen that's why Paul is saying there are many voices but all those voices have a signification Amen, Amen. and brother Branham also says in this end time any Anybody can have a following despite whatever he or she teaches but can have a following why 
people are hungry. The world is in a thirst. The Bible says I will pour. Amen. My spirit upon the earth. They shall be hunger and famine. Amen. Not of the natural food. But of the spiritual food. <coughs> so most anybody can have a following. In Zimbabwe, we have many people rising. We have many prophets. Uh, some time back, uh, some rose by the name of being an apostle and there came a time of bishops but today because the bible says in the end time shall rise many false prophets many false Christ and in this end time not only in Zimbabwe we have many prophets and they all have a following not just a following but a very very big crowd Amen so Paul is saying there are many kinds of voices in the world and none of them is without signification which means every voice which is rising there is a sense of signification there is a meaning behind that voice Amen but uh, Paul again says if the trumpet gives an uncertain sound who will then prepare for the war which means there must be a sound which is certain and to a believer tonight the only voice which is certain is the voice of Malachi 4 that's why we listen to books we listen to books and tapes amen uh, paragraph 42 now there is many things that gives sounds Amen. Amen. And there is many uncertain sounds but today. Praise God. Amen. Uh, those who are following news, there is tension in Europe. And sometimes if you dwell much on the social media or social platforms, you get discouraged. Sometimes you get uh, confused. Why? Because there are platforms which are anti-Russia and they send messages in support of NATO or United States. And there are platforms which are anti-NATO which send messages or information in support of Russia. Amen. So it means the sound becomes uncertain what is it exactly which is going on what we know there is war in Europe there is war in, uh, uh, in Israel Amen and Brother Branham says the third world war because the reporters they are saying uh, we are almost at it which is the third world war and brother Branham says the third world war will be fought within the gates of Jerusalem Amen and there is war which is going on right now in Israel Amen now Amen. there is many things that gives sounds and there is many uncertain sounds today there is uncertainty on every hand everywhere you look in the national affairs it's uncertainty Amen. Amen. in Zimbabwe oh, it's too much it's uncertain if you look at the health sector 
It's totally uncertain. If you look at the educational sector, it's totally uncertain. If you look at our economy, it's totally uncertain. What is going on right now, it's a sound which is coming, but very, very uncertain. Amen. The big four meetings, paragraph 43, the big four meetings is they come together. They write out declarations but there is an uncertainty whether the other side will keep their pledge or not. Amen. Amen. So when people sit for meetings or for declarations it's uncertain what is going to happen and after. Amen. Amen. I remember uh, two days or three days back uh, and John Mshayawan, they were certainly giving confidence to the people of Zimbabwe. They were saying, believe me that this is Zig. You are going to hunt for it. Amen. Amen. And then in that conference, they said it will not buy fuel. Amen. It will not pay duty. So it's uncertain. And the people are so confused. What is it exactly which is going to happen? Amen. Amen. So it's uncertain. Amen. Amen. There is uncertainty about whether it's going to rain tomorrow or whether. Amen. 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 Ah, it's going, and there is uncertainty about whether it's going to rain tomorrow or whether it's going to be fair weather. It's uncertainty in everything that you look at. But one thing that's in Christ, Amen. Amen. That's one thing that you can be assured that's certain. Amen. So whatever is written in the word is the only thing which is certain. So if you want to develop or to give confidence, you cannot have confidence in the face of the world. You cannot have confidence even in your friends. You cannot have confidence even even in your wife, even in your husband, but the only thing that you can have confidence in is the word of God. Amen. For surely the word of God will not pass until every iota of the word is fulfilled. Amen. And there is another thing that's absolutely sure to every person in here. I want to leave that thought to you to begin with. It's uncertain whether you are going to live to get out of this church or not. Hey, brother Branham, it's very uncertain. Amen. Amen. You may be thinking that you will go out after this church. But with what is going on right now, Brother Branham is saying it's very, very uncertain that you are going to leave to get out of this church or not. It's uncertain whether you will ever be back again or not. Amen. Amen. Every day we hear of people has just collapsed and has gone to be with the Lord. Even believers. Amen. Amen. Right now in the UK. Amen. 
Pastor Chandler is gone. The news is saying he just collapsed. Whilst he was in prayer in church and is gone to be with the Lord. It's not demonic but the uncertainty of the world. Amen. Amen. So Brother Branham is saying it's uncertain whether you will ever be back again or not. It's uncertain whether you will see another year's life. But there is one thing that certainly is sure. That's death and the judgment afterwards. You are just as sure to meet that as God is in heaven. So it's certain that one of these days if the rapture delays you will die. I will die. And Brother Branham is saying it's very very certain. What we don't know is when and how. But what we are sure of is one day we will die. You may make an appointment with your wife and say, honey, I will take you to a certain place. Something may arise that you can't do that. You might not be able to keep that appointment. Amen. Amen. So you have agreed that we are going to such a place. Amen. But they may arose. Amen. Circumstances beyond your control. Amen. Like in our economy. Amen. They introduce the Zig. It means. Your appointments, maybe your financial obligations are going to be affected. You might tell your best friend, brother, I'm going to meet you. I'm going to do a certain thing. I will let you have money or I will let you have my car. All kind and certain it against that. Amen. Amen. Yes. Circumstances beyond your control. It's not that you are willing or you are breaching the contract. Amen. Amen. But circumstances beyond your control may arise. And Brother Branham is saying that's uncertainty. But there is one thing that's sure. That is you are going to die. And after that you are going to meet the judge so bear that in mind while we are talking on uncertainty. Amen. Amen. Now there is people who think that just so that we go into church, just so we belong to church, so we hear a good sermon now and then, and so forth. That's all right. Mm. A good sermon is all right. A good preaching is all right. Amen. Amen. You never come to hear me. Okay, I'm going to Although I may do the best I can. But I never did draw anybody to God. No one could draw it but Christ. You come to hear the singing. The singing is very fine. We like like no. what brother James did. No, right. James. Amen. Amen. We like that kind of singing. No, but singing doesn't draw people to Christ. It's the Holy Spirit that draws people to Christ. Amen. Preaching doesn't draw. Altogether, 
Although we tried the best, we can. The pastor and I, we do our best to draw people to Christ or to preach the gospel. But it is the Holy Spirit who has to draw your heart and give you that certain sound. We can preach the gospel of what we think is right. Amen. But the Holy Spirit has to give the sound that echoes in your heart. And there is a certain sound. Amen. Amen. So the preacher, as he will be preaching, the sound may be uncertain unto you. It means what the preacher is preaching, the Holy Ghost has to echo the words, has to echo the sound into your ears. Amen. There is a way to that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof is the ways of death. Amen. Amen. So it means because wherever people are gathered, they will be preaching. And the claim is that they are preaching Jesus Christ to the people. Amen. Amen. That's why Brother Branham is saying it's not the preaching which draws people unto Christ, but it's the Holy Ghost himself who draws people unto Christ. So if you are to hear from the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost will turn the uncertain sound to be a certain sound into your ears. Amen. Wherever God speaks, it's a mystery and it requires the Holy Spirit to interpret the mystery so that it will be a certain sound into your ears. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. The uncertain sound it's a little off the subject but I want to dwell on that just a moment pertaining to, a, to certain persons that I might just take in my and name it Mr. John Do. John Do. John Do. This Miss John Doo, when she was brought up in church, she was a fine woman. She loved God. Or oh, she went to church with her mother. She was taught to do what was right. Now God give us more of those old-fashioned mothers that will teach their girls and their boys how to do right, to know right from wrong. That's what we need today. We got too many other kind of examples before our young people, such as smoking, drinking, carousing, and so forth. That ought not to be, and it's by mothers, so called. All right. Paragraph 59. God never made you just to work and come home and love your children. That's all good enough. God made you to work. God made you to come home. Love your children. Love your wife. And the wife to be loyal. And love your husband. The children love their father and mother. That's all good. But God made you. Amen. Amen. God made you to do. God made you to be a worshiper. A worshiper of him. So coming home is fine. Loving the father and mother is fine. Loving the children is fine. Amen. But God made you to be a worshiper. A worshiper of him. You will worship something regardless of 
of what it is. The uncertain sound. It's impossible to worship something. Amen. Amen. You will worship your wife. You will worship your children. You will worship anything. Your automobile. You will worship your pleasure. You will worship something. Because it's in many kinds to worship. Now we want to know what we worship. Jesus told the woman at the well. And he said you worship. You know not what. We Jews we worship. We know that we worship God. Because salvation is of the Jew. Amen. Amen. But Christ Yes you worship. But you know not what you worship. Amen. Amen. That's why in the book of Acts, it was written to the unknown God. Amen. Amen. And Paul started to preach. He preached a God who they were worshipping but not knowing him. And Paul said, I want to preach about that God. You claim to be worshippers, but you don't know what you worship. Amen. Amen. Why? Because anybody can have a following. And people can be taught anything. Until Brother Branham says when the children are hungry, they can eat anything even from the garbage cans. Amen. But we are the children of God. Whatever sound, we must be in a position to detect the sound. What is the meaning of that sound? Unz ah, kaririro kari kuita ngoma inde mariro. Jisoka, mozo nzu wangu wangu wa kwa kuya shukuri rufu. Kutuku fileji e yuko, vane nge wa shaika. Pane nge parizu wangu wama inorizwa, kamuri ziro keku sivisawa nukuti parufu. Saka, arikuriza, anofana kuzote, how to play it. Inorizu wa say. Amen. Arikuterera, anofana kuziwao, kuti sound is. So, answer the brother Branham, anything can have a sound. But it takes someone who has the ability to detect the meaning of the sound which is coming. Now, the lie detector will not work on your mind. It will work on your soul. It will not Work on your intellects. There is some people can impersonate the truth. Amen. They impersonate. Yet it, yet it being a lie. And can impersonate it. Till they can deceive. Like anything. Yes. Yes. But. You must detect the sound. Is this sound certain? Is this truly the voice of God? Amen. Amen. Because uh, if you go to the book of Samuel, when the voice of God was calling Samuel, 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 Samuel. Samuel, 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 Samuel. In the ears of Samuel, it was the voice of Eli. So he ran into Eli. Amen. Amen. Then the second time, Samuel, 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 Samuel. And Samuel detected the voice as if it was the voice of Eli. And he ran to Eli. But it was not him. Amen. Amen. And through the intelligence of God, Eli said, when you hear the voice once more, 
just to say, speak my Lord. Amen. Amen. So there are many voices. Some to deaden the voice of God. But among the many voices, there is the voice of God. You must have a detector in your life which detects the voice of God to produce a certain sound. And certain is the best of that. There is for he has deceived Eve by that way saying them same things and the biggest lie was ever told yet a lot of truth in it Amen. Amen so the biggest lie which was ever told and which thrown the human race into chaos that lie that biggest lie had a lot of truth in it Actually, it was 99.9% .9 truth in it. Amen. Amen. But it was uncertain. Amen. So, Brother Branham, he says, here what the tape says. Amen. That's the voice of God. Many people come to me many times in the prayer line and stand there and say, Oh, Brother Branham, I have plenty faith. I have got faith like to move mountains. And yet they haven't any faith. Many times people come in the prayer line and they will be saying, Brother Branham, I have plenty faith. I have got faith to move mountains. And yet they haven't any faith. They hardly have enough faith to get to the platform. But they are conscious of one thing that they do believe. They are believing intellectually with their minds. And their mind will never bring them to God. Your mind is reasonings. And God has no reasonings. If you can reason it out, your mind will tell you. Now look here, the doctor says, I can't get over that. It's impossible. Amen. Amen. So that doctor may speak in an uncertain sound. But God has the certain sound. For God says, For with God all things are possible. And He is the healer of all our diseases. That's a certain sound. But doctors may say, We can't do anything now. Amen. Amen. Yes. God never touched that line. Mari. As long as you reason. But let's put down reasoning. God never made us to live by our intellect. We live by the Holy Spirit. That's in our soul. That says no to any reasoning. That's contrary to God's word. When God's word says it's so, there is nothing in the world that stands in its way. Then when you do that, you are getting down on the right side of God. Amen. Amen. So, I'm going to talk to you The uncertain sound. This is the sound of the anything through the social media. Even from politicians, from financial people, it may be an uncertain sound. But whatever God speaks, is a certain sound. Money is going to fail. It's a scripture. 
Genesis. Back then, when money failed, yes, that caused Jacob and his children to move to Egypt. And Brother Branham says, in the end time, because all the gold is going to be collected by Rome, and all the bonds will be in Israel, and money is going to fail. Even the US dollar is going to fail. Until Brother Branham says, America, America is living with the taxes which have to be paid in 40 years to come. It's a sign that money is going to fail. And the sound of the tape is a certain sound is a certain sound. Yes. Amen. 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 If you want to prepare enough, go to the books and the tapes. Have your Bible in your heart. If you want a certain sound, what is it that which is going on right now? Amen. Amen. Because we have to prepare. Are we going to prepare for this third world war? Or we have to prepare for the rapture? Amen. Amen. Uh, I was uh, hearing to the president, the president of North Korea. Yes. He was saying uh, our industries, our ammunition industries must be ready now than uh, ever before. We are now at the blink of a war. The enemy may attack us any time. So almost every country is now being ready for a war. Netanyahu said no country, no president in this world, no government is going to force us to stop a war against the Hamas. And you are forgetting the day, the 7 October day. So the tension but and hold the winds from the four corners of the earth until I have sealed the servants of the Lord. So sealing, I believe, is going on right now. And Brother Branham says, what is that seal? God is busy sealing his children on the foreheads. Amen. Amen. But there is an uncertain sound which says Bill Gates, Not Bill Gates is going to place a chip at the right hand of every individual and that will be the mark of the beast. And Brother Branham says no. The Holy Ghost God is busy right now through the preaching of the word. The Holy Ghost is moving. Placing a seal upon the foreheads and the right hand of the children of God. And what is that seal? Brother Branham says it's the Holy Ghost. It signifies that God has accepted your worship. And the devil is also busy even right now. He is placing his seal upon the foreheads and the right hands of the people who are on his side. Amen. 
So don't worry about Bill Gates. It's the uncertain sounds. And at one time, Brother Branham says, don't worry about Russia coming to overtake and control the world. Don't worry about that. It's not Russia. It's an uncertain sound. Brother Branham says, it's Romanism. All these wars are being controlled from Vatican. Amen. But the power of the scripture in the book of Revelations, two wars have passed. Watch the third war. This is not our way. Bible not our And the brother Branham was not our way. We are waiting for Armageddon. Armageddon. We are heading towards Amakidon. They are now speaking the Bible language. They are being forced by the condition of the day to speak Bible tales. We are heading towards Amakidon. And they are firing missiles which have been or which are not allowed before Armageddon. Armageddon will the church go through the tribulation and Brother Branham says no the church will be gone. Then when the church is gone Armageddon at the gates of Jerusalem. And there is war in Israel. There is war in Europe. We have to be ready. That's the certain sound. Baba, dear, 
Tinamate mungwene mungwene nzira yake Baba wedu Tensi Jesu Christu Tinuisa upenyu wedu ishe Mkatimeru wakoru wenyu Baba tinuisa mweya edu kwa mori tenzi Tinuisa fungwa zedu Sama simba ose mkatime shokorenyu Ichoko adi pane mazgu ya kawanda Arikurira mungu wa inu yeku petisira Tanzi wakute zisinga femi Zino paruja Zino fema Zino paruja shakare Saka chero chinu chipi panyika ino chinu kwa nisa kuparuja Baba ntino nyenge tera panguwa ino Muzita ratenzi wedu jeso kristu Dai mwari maburu ka jehova Mwari wangu ishesa masimba tinu nzwati mimwari Kana mchinge mariza wamanda Ishe wangu jehova Vana venyu wano kwa nisa kukazirira Tenzi jeso kristu maringene kunzwisisa Kuti wamanda ino rewei Ishe wangu jehova pane wamanda Inumerira kutivano wakuenda kuondo Tenzi Jesu Christu tibatirei Mwari wangu ishe baba tinzi Wesa masimba ose kutaura kwenyu Pane wamanda tinorira Mwari wangu ishe baba tichu zavano Tiangu we jubili Mwari wangu tenzi Jesu Christu Kana tiripano tinuda kubatiru Wache wofa Kutitizive ne kunzwisisa Kuti mwari wangu ishe baba tiripangu wa ipi Tiripangu waka upi Watiri kurarama Mwari wangu ishe baba apo manzgui majinji Anenga chifamba mnzewe zewa tendi Anenga chifamba muhana zedu Mwari tibatirei tenzi jeso kristu Tinzgue kufapa shokorenyu baba Tinzgue kufakwa muri jehova Tinzgue kufapa simpare mwe ya mtene Baba makarura ama mzitara jeso kristu Tawuz kwa kutimu ya mtene Ndiyano kwa nisa kutonzera vanu kwa muri baba Jehova tinuna mataiko zino Tenzi jeso kristu dai mwe ya mtene maburuka Mwari wangu ishe mkatime hana zedu Dai maburu ka mkatime kereke Dai maburu ka mkatime kurara makwedu Dai maburu ka jehova mkatime upenyu wedu Mwari wangu ishe jehova Tenzi ishe tiripanyi kaisina kukazikana Mwari tibatirei jehova Tiwane kukazikana mkatime shokorenyu Baba ntino nyenge tera ishe muzitara tenzi jeso kristu Mwari wangu ishe tibatirei jehova Tisa firi nguwa ne manzgui majinji Baba ari kutini rapa msoro penyika ino Tisa firinga ishe baba chitama simba ose Mwari wangu nezini zatino nzwa From different platforms Jehova As it ends Jesu Christu kukutika na kwedu Kurimukati meshokore nyu baba Kukutika na kwedu Jehova Mwari wangu ishe baba There is a tenet in your word Mwari wangu ishe baba There is a tenet in your word Panguwa ema dekwa nano Jehova Mwari wangu ishe baba Mwene ugaro Mukati me anatzedu Mwene ugaro Mukati me kurara makwedu Jehova Tinoisa upenyu wedu kwa muri Tinoda kutirudor wenyu mwari Sama simba ose rujeke Mukati mefungwa zedu Rudor wenyu tenzi Ishe wangu baba ruko zaza moyo yedu Tinoda mataiko zino Baba nishi zisa mukati memo kwenyu Tenzi titunga mirirei Muzita la Jesu Christu Titunga mirirei baba sekere kenyu Mwari wangu ishe baba Jehova Mtaure 
Izo zwa muno da mkati meupe nyuedu. Tisha nyire iwo baba se muri. Tisha nyire iwo baba se dunga munu. Tisha nyire iwo baba se kere kenyu. Mwari wangu ishe mchi taura kuda kwenyu baba. Kuti jehova shokorenyu parino taurwa. Mwari wangu ishe moyo yedu iko kutsikana. Kuti ziru kwa zo mwari mataura nesu. Tinona matatenzi jeso kristu. Tiba tire iwo jehova pamsoro penyika ino. Kana jehova baba. Nyika yedu ino da imi mwari. Jimi muno kwane sakura hapa jehova. Jimi muno kwane sakupoza nyika yedu. Tino nyenge tera made kwa nano. Titi nyenge tere na nyika yedu ya Zimbabwe. Kuti mwayamu chene dai maburu katenzi jeso kristu. Mwayamu chene dai maburu kababa. Mwari wangu ishe jehova maunza kutzikama. Mwari wangu ishe baba kwe zini umukatime nyika inu mwari. Unza haitenzi jeso kristu. Mwari wangu ishe baba. Sama simba ose rudoru wenyu pakati pedu. Mwari tibatsirei. Tinoshuwira nyasha, tinoshuwira kubata kwenyu, tinoshuwira kukona kwenyu mwari. Baba kuwe pakati pedu Jehova. Tinodoti mwari mutaure, ishe Jesu Christu mkati menzira za upenyu wedu. Mchiti tunga mirira baba, tuwani kwa tichakompore ruwanemi. Tinodzo serambiri ne kukuzi kwa kwa muri, muzita ne muro paratenzi wedu Jesu Christu. Amen. Tinotenda mwari. Tichakumbiro brother mpunga, brother rice. Matirana, a Nekurangarirao, Kurangarirao, Imeama, to Namatra to Marava, but Sireva Kundiseo, a Namatra Jacare Sunday service, Uti, whatever we ever tower on a su, Tis, okay, Chabudat Shimba, T Tunga. Mire jiwo vandiri mufa bi ni mune simba mo ne simba e na ti na na shaywa si ba. Ah. 